I used to watch Storage Wars with my dad and think it would be a cool thing to do in the real world. I just knew buying a storage unit in Florida would be a disaster because it would be nothing but like maybe some decaying corpses and drugs in there, so I really wouldn't get much value out of it. But I thought it would be fun to just go for it. So I bought the most expensive storage unit in the state of Florida. Which isn't saying a whole lot because apparently no one's buying them here because most of them just go up for sale for like 40 bucks. But there was one storage unit a few hours away that went for $2,800 and that's the one we grabbed. And I'm just going to go ahead and spoil this. It turns out it belonged to a fucking astronaut. I'm just going to get that out of the way right now so that way you can just experience this incredible fucking bewilderment that we did. It belonged to a real astronaut and I can't wait to show you everything we found inside because it was fucking nuts. All right, ready, cut in, B-roll of driving there. Wait, hold on, get me jumping, and then I'll jump there. <laughs> wait, wait, okay. Oh, so it's like a teleport. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah. jump. Yeah. Wow. In all this glory. God, she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see a record player. That's going to be nice for us. Wow. Wow. Perfect. This is Venom, The Enemy Within Part 1. Direct edition. Is this like a rare comic, you think? <laughs> hold, show it, hold it up for me. Yeah, hold it up and show it. Alright, this much glare? Okay, you got it. I, I want to see what that's worth. I've got some big news on this one. Oh god, that means it's like 25 cents. It's five dollars. God. God, that's, I'm shocked. That's five smackaroos. Alright, that's pretty oh. oh number one collector's edition. Hey, wait a minute, that could be six dollars. Star Wars number one. That's what that's pretty cool. That actually is kinda sick. What was that? Green Goblin number one collector's edition? Yep. Oh, this is by Dark Horse. Wow. Let's see. Green Goblin issue number one collector's edition is $4. Ooh. We're making our money back. I found a golf ball. Yo, is it a cool collector's, collector's one? It, it's not. Here. There you go. It's an ultra distance. Uh, oh, wow. That's just a piece of a ping pong table. Okay, what I did see in here that will be handy. The what? big toilet. It's empty. Oh, oh wait, that maybe that means there's a mystery inside. Oh yeah, what's in there then? If it's nothing, it's our trash box. Or a rat. It is our trash box! Trash box! Woo! <laughs> oh. 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 oh! Maybe one of these! Wait, wait, wait. Put, put those somewhere you want to step on them. Because we can, hang, we can hang those up. Would you like mirrored display boxes? What is that display? Nothing of size. Golf balls, maybe. Yeah, golf balls. Oh, it's for toy cars. By now you've heard me talk about Honey a million times, and that's because I really just need to get it through your skull. Honey is a free browser extension. It installs in two seconds, and that is the only work you ever have to do with it. Two clicks, basically, installs Honey, and then you're just set to shop and save money. Honey searches the internet for coupons that can be applied at most major retailers online, and when you purchase something, it'll automatically apply those coupons at checkout and just save you money for doing no work on your end at all. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. You should absolutely just be using Honey. Like, just try it. It's free and you will absolutely be convinced of how effective it is. Honey's just such a great way of doing online shopping because you get to save money by doing no extra effort. You just get to have it there as a nice comforting helping hand to save you money at checkouts at so many online retailers. So if you're interested in trying Honey, make sure to click the link in the description below to get started. And uh, yeah, again, just click the link in the description below and just save money. Uh -oh. Yeah, because he has a lot of toy cars back there. Oh, maybe, All right, so we'll, maybe we'll need one then. You want to go set those over there? Yeah. Um, a broken shelf. That's pretty cool. We are Trash cooking! Trash box! Oh, a mystery bag. Ooh. Wait, Charlie. look at his socks. <gasps> wow. He left his mat open. Matt opened the socks. That's biohazard material. I don't want to touch it. Oh, so look at socks. all the socks! Wait, we should donate these. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Do you agree with that assessment? Yeah. I mean, there's I like... I mean, are they usable? 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus There's Christ. Man. Yes. Okay. Oh, my God. We're going to set this aside to either throw away or donate. I want to see these space photos. Yeah, you go through that, I'll empty out some of the trash. That's the, uh... US, that's pretty cool. That's, that's the USSR, uh, spit boy or something. Is that not one of the Apollos? Oh, it says United States. <laughs> it's probably not the USSR. It's just, it's just fuzz. Whoa, what the It could fuck? be asbestos. What'd you get? Shark's teeth. Ooh, that's pretty cool, that's actually. Really, that cool. That's really got? fucking cool. Any, Where's the megalodon? I was just about to ask if you had a megalodon. <laughs> Can you open this that says magic? Ooh. It's gonna be cool. I already know it. I like how I, got, I have to open this ooh, stuff. Pigeon's gonna pop out or something. It's, oh. We've let the magic out. What is it? A genie? You do the honors. Here. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Asner illusion. I do love Kasner. Wait, what is this? Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> That was probably worth like a grand. Yeah, it could have been worth something. Kasner? Uh, he's no Chris Angel. Maybe it's light awareness program. You think this was an astronaut storage unit? I found a glove. Oh, it looks pretty clean actually. It, it looks clean inside, so I was going to use this to go through other stuff. Good idea. If it fits. Oh yeah, like a glove. That's true. I found more <gasps> Was this his space suit? I think he found his space suit. That's pretty clean if you want to put it. You did find it. <laughs> Order. Here. You want it? Thanks, man. Strap me in, thank you. Good enough. As a reminder, and I'm sure you can easily tell, this was the most expensive unit in Florida. Yep. That's a moldy blanket. I'm hoping we can find it. Wait, oh, I, I heard saw blinking. something flash under there. Uh, that might be something cool. <gasps> Wait, that could be that could be huge. That's Chris Paul. That is Chris Paul. <laughs> Quick, do a price check for us, Charlie. Wait, I actually think this bag's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, I thought these were gonna be military helmets. They're pots and pans. They're bowls. We got some bowl kitchenware. With like mu mustard. <laughs> it is. Bagged mustard. The world's most dependable. Oh, they're fish hooks. Oh. Cool. Good news, the Chris Paul card is $9. Oh. oh that's our biggest one yet. And is that in mint condition that's, as well? Look at all these. Yeah. Do you know anybody that likes fishing? Because there's a lot of fish hooks. Yeah. Do you, do you actually? Nope. <laughs> I'm scared to open this one. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Whoa! Oh, wait. Daytona 500. Wait, there's some more pictures and stuff in there. So basically what we did was pay for the right to clean this out. Yeah, yeah of course. Newspaper. Well, uh, we can speed run some more Lego building. <laughs> <laughs> this can be donated. Is it actually in there? Yeah. Space station oh. patches. Maybe he was an actor. Maybe he was an astronaut. NASA flight book. Oh, what about the government secrets in there? Is that like a play log? These are checks. Oh. So, uh... Are they... Can we sign them? We're gonna throw them away. What is that? Ooh, some rare coins. Ooh. Very rare. I'm glad you agree. Yes. Priceless artifacts. Right. Know what they are? What do you find? No more more coins. coins, holy shit. Those are actually really cool. Those are nice. They're from 1908. Wow. Pretty modern. That's a cool little notepad. Yeah, he's got notes in it. Oh. More notes. Yeah, they stink. Like, smell bad. Why act bitchy when... Why act bitchy, is that what it said? When hanging up answering and calling. You want them? Uh, I'll, I'll read a couple of those. <laughs> 5,800 people per year are admitted to the emergency room for falls due to holiday decorations. That's pretty neat. Oh, it's a secret box. Oh! What's in it? It was a watch. 
Now it's stamps. Stamps. Uh, open this. This is for Joseph. Put this over there. You know, if I have to open everything you're looking at, it's going to take a long time. Well, this is for Joseph. Oh, that, that makes it better then. Oh. To my Valentine. That's a big card. Jesus. Was he blind? <laughs> Wait, signed by John Daly. Wait, actually? Yeah. Oh, that is. That's sick. That's that is cool, actually. Keep that. Okay. Who's John Daly, a golfer? Yeah. yeah this is one of the most. A letter from Boeing. Please stop flying on our airlines. <laughs> yeah, this is signed. That's Wait cool. a second. What? They're thanking him for his contributions to the space program. Wait, really? Yeah. Can we just find this man and give him a snow bag? Holy fuck, this is an actual astronaut or uh, aeronautical like engineer. engineer. Yeah. Keep that letter. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, wait, Jimmy's Chicken Shack signed this. Who doesn't love Jimmy's Chicken Shack? They're all You're not gonna Florida believe ones. what I just found. It's Jimmy's <gasps> Chicken Shack again. Whoa! He was a big fan of Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Yeah, that's pretty big stuff. Pushing the salmonella envelope. <laughs> Space Flight Awareness Team Award. Wait. Yes. That's of course I want cool. that. Oh, this is this big. Is our, this is, this is big. Oh, that is big. We got trash bags. Oh, we thought of everything! This is no fucking way, boys. Jimmy's Chicken Shack. <laughs> There's so much Jimmy's Here's Chicken Shack. Yeah. Praying this is empty, but it doesn't sound oh. empty. Oh! Oh! That's a Larry, that was a Larry Bird card. Larry Bird. Wait, this is probably nuts. NBA all Oh my. Wait, there's some good shit oh. in here. Let's just take the whole, uh, yeah, I'm just trying take to the whole cooler. Yeah, yeah. Is there a human being locked in there? No, one? you like shifted a bunch of stuff and you were pulling out oh. stuff. Matt hasn't gone through all this stuff yet. This is like, this is all of his flight stuff. This is, is kind of cool. These are all like books in here. Yeah, but like it's his manuals and shit. Whoa! <laughs> 2011 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition. Jackpot. Yeah. Arena Shack. Shake. <laughs> Whoa, hubba hubba hubba. <laughs> yeah, I think we could probably donate. No fucking, no fucking way. This place is haunted. Wait, that probably just is on a timer. Keep the camera rolling in case we die. It is rolling. It's definitely just on a timer. Except I can't. I'm holding it because someone can do it. Let's turn it. I don't know which way. There you go. Alright. <laughs> We're back. That was horrifying. Oh, the wraps, they must be nice. Yeah, those are. Those are collectible cars. Yep. There's Puzz 3D Star Wars Edition. Wow. This says cards. That is indeed sports cards. Oh my oh, god. Wait, add that to the... Chauncey yeah. Billups. So he was a modern collector, it seems. It's a lot of cards. This just says space. Oh, maybe those are space records. Maybe it's yeah, space rocks that he collected oh, from could space. Could you imagine if we found space rocks? That'd be fucking Would, you, would we throw them out thinking they were just rocks? Absolutely. <laughs> Do a bumper real life race car game. Ah! What? All kinds of dust. All kinds of yucky stuff. Assuming we want to keep all of these toys. That's a. Those are probably those are collectibles. Yeah. He's got so many of them. My dad would love all this. He wouldn't actually. Do you think the guy that owns this is gonna be mad? I don't know. Let's ask him because I would feel bad. I'm assuming he's not going to be happy about it. I have bad news for you guys. What? You think he's dead, I don't you? I don't think he was a young man. I think maybe he's not alive anymore. That is bad news. But I don't know, he does like Jimmy's Chicken Shack. Yeah, that doesn't seem like an old guy thing, so... Maybe he's on the moon.
making some progress. Yeah, or it will be done soon. The problem is our progress is into the hallway. Well, yeah. The only stipulation is we need it all out of that door by 4.30. Oh, there's the airplane parts in here. Oh, we cards and baseballs. So, like signed baseballs? Oh. Yeah, they are signed, actually. This guy was into his sports car. Yeah. Know. What the fuck? Is is that, that, oh my god, is that Babe Ruth? It is. It is actually. Oh wait, it's actually Babe Ruth. Wait, this is a is this a game card? Oh, it's a football game card. Wait, what the fuck? I'm going to guess that means somewhere in this box the actual card fell out. Yeah. These are some nice. Maybe it's wrapped in that actually. No. Marshall Falk oh. rookie card. I think there's actually some insane cards in here. Yeah, I think there probably are. The entire lineup of the Kansas City Royals? Yeah, save that box. Holy shit. This has to be in there oh somewhere. Oh my! Julius Irving. Alright, there's some good stuff in there. There's some cool shit in here. Imagine we actually have one of those like multi-million dollar baseball cards. That'd in be here. insane. You know what they are if we found them? Yeah, it's uh, Babe Ruth and... Barry, Barry Bonds, I bet, is in there somewhere. Jose Canseco. <laughs> I asked if I, do you know, he said yeah, and then he just started naming names and said, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to touch the box. This is Spider-Man. Oh. Oh. What makes a hero super? Hmm. I wish I had gloves. Yeah. This stuff's very gross. Oh, awesome. Is that like a trade? I don't know what this is. Like a trading card? It's like a coaster or something. That's a big fucking That's flashlight. That's pretty fucking cool. Oh, no fucking way. What? See? He worked on the wow. Mars rover? Let's go! That a boy? You wanted me to be done with this box. I still well, want make you sure to be done with it. In Just the video, make sure to blur out his name, but that is so fucking cool. Yeah. It's a locked box with a critical space item in it from NASA. This I think we that has to be our priority number one is opening that yeah, box. Agreed. What do you think's in there, Danny? Do you think, think it's empty? I think it's empty. No, I think it's either, um, you should probably move this out of those two boxes. Why not? I say it's either, like, more classified paperwork that has to be legally locked up. Or a space rock. A space rock would be so fucking What if there's cool. an alien in there? Or like <laughs> an alien, like, carcass or proof of aliens or something? Oh, um, I'd be so happy. <laughs> think of the views. If we proved aliens are real from this guy's storage unit. Just like, that is so, like you don't even see this kind of shit like ever. National Aeronautics and Space Administration critical space item. Alright. So I don't know if it was all on camera, but we found a lot of like certificates of this guy participating in important like space missions. Yeah. Like he was directly responsible oh. for a lot of the big ones. Those are all checks and, holy shit. Uh. They like watches, like pocket watches and stuff? Oh, dog, dog tags. tags. That's a lot of dog tags. Holy fuck, that's a Rolex. That's a Rolex? Oh my god! What the fuck? Wait, let me see. Yeah, that's a... Is that a real Rolex, you think, or like a knockoff? I don't know. We should get that appraised or something. What the fuck? All right, let me go through this a little more. <laughs> Look, there's another watch right there. You just found it. Yeah. Oh, no. I that's think there's a medical bracelet. That says Joe. Some rings. Think that's a real diamond? 
There's something in an individual like pouch. You should check that. Gold chain. Wait, this thing's glistening in here. Look, it's like one of the famous diamonds that you see in movies. ESA. Wait, that must be like a... Holy shit. That might be like an important thing. Here, I'm gonna give you this. That is crazy if that's real. If that's a vintage Rolex, we might have struck actual gold. I think we put this in a pocket. Yeah, or in your truck. Yeah. No, put it in your pocket, just in case. <laughs> And don't bump against anything. This is the coolest guy to ever live, it seems. Yeah, we found some pretty nuts stuff in here. This is more than I was hoping, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I mean, we got an astronaut's fucking yeah. storage unit. That is a big fucking butcher's knife, dude. Holy shit. God damn! <laughs> I'm handing it to you. Look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> right in the trash box. Basketball cards! Oh, more cards? Oh, yeah. Sealed. Oh. oh wait, that's kind of nuts. Who is that? Liddell Eckerd? Eccles? Fifth anniversary edition. I'm trying to see when these were from. 1990. Those could okay. be worth something. something. And they're still sealed. Holy shit. He's got basketball tickets. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, hey -oh. Put that upside down, please. Thank you. There's some cool shit in here. Alright, this is another we'll go through at the warehouse. Yeah. Definitely keep. What does that sign say? At least I can still smoke in my own car. <laughs> Charlie, we are so close. Oh! oh. What? You'll see! There's another box too. Are they cards? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's fucking Wait, go. Wait, I feel like this guy has some valuable cards Ab here. Absolute. What is it? What'd you find? It's signed. By who? Wait. Clint Hurdle. Clint Hurdle. Look at it's that. It's even thing. addressed to Joe. Look at that handsome man. Wait, tilt it down a little bit. There you go. Another signed by Clint. Sealed. Sealed. This is kind of nice. All right, that's it. That's it. We take back box. Yes. Yeah. Sealed. Sealed. And I'm gonna assume the next one is too. Oh my god. All right. We're we were just disheartened in the beginning because all the good stuff took heart to get to. What is what is in that box in the, like in the middle in front of you? Uh, looks I see like Miller cars. Light. All right, ready? Oh, oh my yes. fucking god. <laughs> Oh, and let's, let me pull out a random card. Yep. You ready to see the Babe Ooh. Ruth rookie card? Canadian football trading cards. Oh. Yep, let's see it. I got Norm Johnson. <laughs> These are from 91. Oh my god, these have to be worth something. Yeah. What if it's a space gun? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh. Like, oh. A, like a laser cannon. A photon blaster. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't need a key. I don't think so. I will break it. Critical space item. What if it's empty? Oh my god, I'd be so sad, Matt. I would be so upset. It's. It looks like it's empty, though. It does look like it's empty. Unless it's since it's from outer space, it floats. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. There's one on the side. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh god, Matt, does it feel empty? Please. Oh. Wait. Fire ants. Is there something under it? A person? Nope. There was something in here at one point. God damn it! I think we Fuck! The box. I think we probably have, have to do. These all look. Uh, oh no! There we go. More Some cars. of them are empty, but they're all cars. I wonder. Yeah. I wonder what these cars are worth anything. Probably nothing. They? There's yeah. got to be collectors for this stuff. There are also most of those are empty. Yeah, except for this. These two. Oh god, he's even written on the front. These are basketball and golf carts. All the years. The oh my oh. god, there's so many cards, right, Charlie. I'm gonna pull out a LeBron James rookie card. Well, the newest year was 94. I got Mark Jackson. <laughs> no writing on this one, it could be cool. Basketball. 
Yep, 92 basketball. Jeez. Some of these cards, if he has the right ones, are worth so much money. Yeah. Like a ridiculous amount. Those must be good cards. ones. Yeah, they look like good ones. The older they are, the better they are. True. Here, you can open this. Or not. It's fucking yucky. It's, it's just, just us. It's just a bag. I have a good feeling about that Rolex and the cards. That Rolex is pretty crazy. Yeah. Looks like all of this stuff over here goes to different rooms in his house. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many cards, Charlie. Yeah, all back there. I'll go talk to him. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, let's see what we got. Nolan Ryan, I know that name. It's all Nolan Ryan. Maybe he has a binder for each player. Oh wait, Roger Clemens. And Ken Griffey Jr. Bro, these might actually be worth something. Yeah. You thought you got over your card addiction, huh? Yeah. Oh my god, Danny. Wait, are these all binders? You need Holy to see. Holy shit. Alright, you get that one. I'll film you. I don't, okay. don't want to touch that. It's a, little, it's a little too much for me. This one? Yeah, I've already touched more than I thought I would. It's empty! No! Basketball. I don't know these players, so you might have to look. Maybe we'll see a Michael Jordan? Maybe. He has so many freaking cards, it's crazy. Oh, we even got some, like, Little League Hockey. Little League Hockey? Yeah, look at this. Oh, you're right. Maybe those will be worth millions. <laughs> I think we've struck gold here, I'm going to be honest. I think so too. This unit has been crazy. I can't, we got a fucking astronaut storage unit. That is, that is nuts. Basketball. What? Michael Jordan. Yep, now look at all his MJ stuff. Do you think these are worth anything? I know nothing about sports cards, but these, I mean, there's so many of them. Yeah, there's a lot of different MJs. Magic Johnson. This is all Magic Johnson. These are nuts. These oh are pretty nuts. God. Larry Bird. He's got, like, all the classic players in here. They, those have to be worth something. Like, even even if every card here is worth, like, 20 bucks, that's I know. a ton. Yeah, these things are nuts. We absolutely need to find, like, a card appraiser to come, yeah. like, go through them and let us know what we got. That'll be another video. Honestly. He's got a big foot book. A big what? Big foot. Oh! Let's go! See, even NASA astronauts believe in Bigfoot. 